Alright guys, today I'm going to show you guys uh, some Camille top lane gameplay right here. We're going to be playing with like an OP setup for Camille, uh, which is actually um, Grasp with Shield Bash, with Bone Plating, Overgrowth, at lack already less than 2 points into AD and 1 point into Armor. Uh, now as, as for the entire full build with Camille, um, I highly recommend you check out the description below because I'm going to place everything in there. And with that being said, Camille top lane is probably one of the most broken champions of the entire game right now. Believe it or not. Um, even with the upcoming changes coming in within a couple days, um, they're basically adding... Um, they're basically changing the way how Trinity Force works. And so many other things. But Camille is still broken. It, she will still be broken because of the items. All right, I think for this game, I'm probably going to go Trinity Force. We'll see. I'm just going to let Rengar push it in right now. I'm going to wait for at least level 3. Once I make it to level 3, we're going to be winning this lane. Like, the level 1 is pretty hard against Rengar, but it will get better. He didn't go for me. Okay, sure. That's fine. We're going to be poking this guy with so many cures very soon. We just need to get my level 3 first before anything else. Alright, we're about to reach it now. Nice. He's probably going to jump on me. Most likely. We're going to be spamming Q on Rengar. That's going to be the trick to win this matchup. Non-stop spamming Qs over and over. I can't really farm properly. Because uh, he has a lot of damage right now. But it's going to change right now. Yes, TP. Oh, really? Oh, too bad. I was actually going to get the kill right here. But Needly was actually sitting right next to him. Super unfortunate. I think I can probably still beat him. But I have to TP here. Wait, let's see where he's going to go. All right, we got him. She'll throw another spear. We got a revenge for that one. He's pro Rengar's probably going to TP as well. We'll see. I actually need to have a jungle gank right here. That would be good because I have to reset the wave right now. Uh, Nidalee is actually here. We can't really win that one. He's gotta like fall back. Okay, we're basically trading. Sure. If I get the kill, it's fine for me. can probably get a kill right here. It depends on what Rengar is going to do right now. Because we have a red buff. Nice. We're getting another catch. There we go. Like, honestly, in my opinion, Camille top lane is currently one of the most broken champions of the entire game. You can literally carry games so easily with Camille top. Uh, the only exception is that there are some matchups in the game which are not really that good for Camille. But outside of bad matchups, like this champion is so broken. Uh, let me get this real quick here. There we go. Like, uh, people, people that lose with Camille are actually playing Camille completely wrong. Um, now, like... Most be most Camille players are playing without grasp, right? Most be most Camille players are playing with Conqueror. Now, what actually makes a difference here? People used to max E with Camille. The meta is now that you play Grasp and then you max Q and you're just gonna spam Q all day long. You're gonna continue like to proc passive, 
uh, proc uh, grasp and spam Q. Literally just spam Q all the time until your opponent dies. Like that's the way how Camille's being played right now. You hit a few autos on the creep so you can proc the grasp and then you just... Uh, if Rengar jumps with this creep, I would just spam Q twice with an auto in between and then I would do like too much damage. So... Uh, he's probably gonna jump on me. Let's see. That was not a proper, um, I mean, way to show it, I guess, but... Actually, like, a proper, like, auto Q into Q. Oh, this man's playing pretty aggressive. Alright. He's also got some sustain, it seems. He actually went for life to scepter. Nice. Ooh, didn't hit him there. That's fine. There we go. That's Q number one with Grasp. Now we're going to be auto-attacking the creeps again. We're going to be hitting a W for sustain. Let me go for an E. Another auto with two Qs backing up again. You see, like, you basically do this on repeat until you win. Doesn't really take much brain. Gonna hit another W, he's probably gonna jump. Another two Qs. And now we're gonna kill him. There we go. Like, it literally, this champion takes no brain to play right now. Like, this is literally what Camille's like in uh, Season 11. If you play, if you know the mechanics of Camille, you can you know break it down all the all the combos and everything. Uh, if you play with Grasp, you can just walk over your opponent like this. Uh, let's push up the next one. And we're talking about a we're talking about the Rengar matchup here. Like Rengar in itself has like so much damage, right? He can just walk up to you. He can he can stack up his um, what's it called? The uh, Palace City or something like that. I don't even remember, to be honest. It's been a while since I played Rengar, but the stacks I'm talking about. If he has like fully stacks, you can still tank up the entire damage with your passive, and then you can just hit auto Q into Q, and then with W, and basically completely outtrade him. Makes absolutely no sense. Okay, let's get back to the lane. Uh, we need to get uh, 650 more gold for Trinity Force, and then uh, and then we can just snowball the rest of the game. I haven't seen Nidalee that much across the map. I have no idea where Nidalee currently is, so I'm just going to place a ward down here. Rengar's actually going for a freeze. Oh, Nidalee's actually mid lane. Uh, Nidalee's currently here. Ooh, ooh, I got hit by a spear when trying to dodge it, but didn't work. I already knew Nidalee was coming because I saw her pathing topside, and Rango was also freezing and suddenly playing super aggressive, so... Made, made a lot of sense to me that Nidalee was coming. We're just gonna do the same tactic I did before. I'm gonna hit my Qs a couple times on Rengar. When he jumps again, I'm just gonna pop my W in. Oh. So basically, we can save up my E until we get like a proper all in off. Just getting some s sustain out again. Needley is currently mid, pathing towards top lane again. Getting another Q off. You see the damage? <laughs> That's just like one Q, not even empowered. Getting another one off. 
And there we go. We got another kill. Sure. Let's push. Alright. Now we can take some platings as well. Gotta keep in mind he's actually got TP probably. Time to hold. There we go. Oh, he's actually using TP. Okay, sure. Makes sense. Well, I'm not gonna fight him right now. Let's try. The reason why I'm dragging the wave like this is because uh, I want this wave to be pushed on towards me, so I want to drag it down there. Right? Uh, let me actually buy the uh, sort here. There we go. Just gonna do the same combos on to repeat here. I didn't go for the E there because I probably wouldn't hit him. Oh, I'm coming. I'm on the way. I need to take him down. Oh, too bad. I tried to get into him earlier, but didn't work. Should've probably went for E. Instead of using the plant. Yeah, also, there's, there's like... There's, like, so many Camille one... Uh, uh, players right now that are also sitting in challenger so many because of the way how the, how the champion is also in season 10 there, there was already like so many Camille plays in challenger wait push it out all the way nice Oof, I want the plating. Uh, there we go. That's perfect. Oh. Alright. Now I just want to push in the wave and then get back after. Let's get back. We're going to be buying the next item. Gonna be getting a uh, Hydra right now. Or well, the first parts. Alright, so we are gonna be getting uh, this. Gonna get this. And I guess I'm probably just gonna get Red Trinket right now. Okay, sure. My team is having a horrible time. Hopefully we can actually uh Maybe maybe we can carry these guys, hopefully. If they uh relax a little bit, we should be able to carry them. Nice, let's push out the next wave. There's currently two people in bot lane, one guy is mid, Nidalee and Rengar are missing, so they might be topside. Probably. I got him. There we go. Who's gonna be next? Yasuo? Hmm, too bad. I was actually going to outplay Yasuo as well, but my E is still a very high cooldown. At least for now. Uh, let's actually go with Starks Gauge right now. This item, like, Trinity Force for damage, Hydra for wave clear, and then Starks Gauge because, I mean, this item is also OP. Like, everything on Camille is OP, actually. <laughs> it just is. Alright, let's go with that right now. If we get Starks Gauge, we're impossible to kill in, like... They would have to break through 
so much HP, tankiness, shield. If we get if we get like multiple kills in a fight, we we can just heal up super fast. We're currently having eight kills. Let's see if we can kill this Yasuo. It's probably backing up, I guess. We'll see. Nice. Ooh, he's actually backporting at the right time. Or, well, also canceling his backport at the right time, I guess. Sweet. We can get him in like two seconds, got my ultimate. Uh, that's looking bad, actually. Wait. Okay, we've made it out. And we have to get rid of this guy. They're all chasing me right now. I'm just gonna live steal myself back up and there's nothing that they can do to this. There's nobody here. I thought it was I thought they were actually going to dive me, but I guess they don't. Okay, they're not actually here to dive me, sure. Let's push. Let's get a camp here real quick. Maybe there's a red buff to take. No, no red buff at all. Maybe this, maybe this one. I, I was actually want to dive this, but... I mean, I actually want to TP to that, but... Maybe Rengar's probably walking down here somewhere. I got him. There we go. I just saw that, like, based on him farming the top lane, I can... Take a wild guess, he's probably just farming out the camp. Let's push out the next wave as well. Nice. And maybe we can take the turret down, maybe. Red buff is spawning soon. I got like 2.4k gold right now. Wait, there is no camp here. It, I thought it just shown. Whatever. Let's get back again. Or maybe we can save for a bit more. We nearly have Sark's Gage. Just need a bit more. He's going to try to chase me down. Obviously not going to fight him because I know he, there's a guy right behind him. Also, Nidalee is coming topside. All of them are coming topside, actually. Uh... I need to get 200 more gold and then I can buy my item. What? What a lucky day for me. What? Action. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you gotta be kidding me. Needle is gonna be free right there for me. I sidestepped everything correctly, like literally everything. All the damage they had was being sidestepped. But all of them are also sitting here trying to kill me. I guess it's not a lucky day for me. I guess uh I guess yeah, she got away. Uh I played that so well. I played that nearly to perfection. But I should have probably just uh eat backwards. If I knew that they were all sitting here, I would I would not have gone for that jump. Whatever, it's fine. Gotta start to split pushing bot lane at the moment. Look at this. At least we got a split pushing AD carry. That that that's gonna help a lot.
Okay, we're just gonna do the same thing on repeat. I'm just gonna be split pushing top side. Uh, Dragon will spawn in like 1 minute 50, and I've got my TP. So. Let's go top lane. Actually, there is going to be a massive fight in mid. I'm probably just gonna go mid. I don't want to get hit by all the damage. Uh, my E is coming in 3 seconds, so I can go for another round. Hmm. Wow, nice brand, ultimate. Sure. Not too bad. I'll just, uh, I'll just get my, uh... I'll just life still back up, that's fine. We are so far ahead, man, but my team is so far behind as well. Uh, we're going to be losing the mid in him, actually. I think we just might, we might even lose everything here. Oh, too bad. Depends on what they're going to do now. I'm just going to continue farming. Yeah, I'm just going to continue farming up. Alright. He's, he's getting very tanky. He's getting really tanky right now because, yeah, he's actually going for play to two caps with Bami Cinder and uh, Bramble's fast right now. That's why. Okay. No problem. Also, Bramble's topside while they were taking the dragon. It's kind of hoping for my team to get something done, but... Let's, um, let's get my next item. It's going to be Death Stance. It's going to help me a lot. He's going down there. That's another catch. We will get that easily. I got you. See you later. Nice. Maybe we can get a few more camps before we go back. We will get this one. We still haven't completed my boots. <laughs> We're just like completing like all of the uh, all of the items. Still haven't got it yet. I just need to max max my damage right now, so I haven't really got it yet. But I think I'm gonna get it right now. Or actually, not yet. Almost. I still need like a little bit more. We are so extremely huge right now. Yeah, I think if I get Mercs, uh, the game is gonna be even easier because of Brandon and Nibia. But I think I'm gonna get plated steel caps because Rengar, Yasuo, and everything else. Probably. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I got hit by a spear, but whatever. It doesn't mean anything. We can probably just continue pushing. I don't really know why my team is actually going back there. I don't really know why my team is going back. We could just continue fighting, but whatever. Uh, red buff and everything has been taken already. 
I mean, Rengar is building tanky, so I don't even know what he's trying to pull off there. If he goes tank, he doesn't have any damage. I mean, I, I, I do true damage. Like, wh why is he going to even build tanky at all? Does it make sense? You're basically giving me the advantage by going tank if you're if you're really doing this because of the true damage. Let's go back again. Let's see if we can force something. Okay. Now we can go mid. Let's do something. I don't know. Why is TFX just slow with pushing? Wait. See you later. Let's go top lane. Ooh, we're going to be missing the Baron soon. We're going to have to make this fast. Where are they? <laughs> Can probably turn. My team is doing excellent right now. We've actually made a sort of like a comeback for these guys. It's actually working out. I got him. Nice. Goodbye. I am definitely not giving that dragon to the enemy team because that's going to be the last one. What? No, 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 no. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me here. Oh, too bad. It's fine. Whatever. I was like, I hit my true damage, but he still got the last hit because I think uh, the dragon survived with like 1 HP or something like that. I don't know. Okay, let's get back once more. I'm going to get my Guardian's Angel right now. I see an opportunity. I'm going to take it. Nidalee on its... This is the quality of Nidalee. But I'm still gonna get you anyways because I'm Camille. Hmm. Alright. <sighs> Man, this... I am not gonna lie though, this team is very, very hard to carry. I am not gonna lie here. Uh, it is actually... This game is a disaster. This game is an absolute disaster. Whatever I try to do, I've literally been 1v9ing this game, and I still don't win the game. But I guess my team is sort of coming back the whole time. I guess it just takes a little longer. I don't know how this man even died. I guess I don't even want to know. 
Okay, let's go Red Potion. I've got my Guardian's Angel right now. Man, the enemy team is nearly full build, all of them, I guess. They just need a few more. Let's go with Red Potion. This is going to make a huge difference. Here comes the moment. Now I'm actually OP. I'm super tanky. I got way too much damage. I guess they probably taken the they probably taken the blue buff. No. Okay, I've got like, um, hmm. Alright, he also is sitting in the bush there. Now it's up to these guys. TF is walking, wait, TF is going like in so, so randomly there. Okay, probably over. Too bad. Despite having uh, such a good game with Camille, um, going literally 1v9, uh, my team is just not good enough. Whatever. Anyways, this was a Camille game. Once again, guys, you can find the entire full build inside of the description below. Uh, also, let's actually see the damage we did this game. I want to see like how good my team play and how uh yeah I just want to see their damage. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait, even my support did more damage than Ivern. <laughs> All right. All right. <sighs> All right. Anyways, thank you for watching today's YouTube video. Um, this game was being played live on stream. So don't forget to check that out, guys. I'm streaming like six times a week. Link inside the description. Uh, this was the damage done here. But yeah. Hey, thank you for watching today's YouTube video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.